Hello, uh, I'm Nini Still. Uh, today's artist is Thank You X. Wait, what? Why, 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 why is he called X? Why are we thanking him? What did he do? Well, I don't know. Huh. Well, I wonder why we should thank him. Then what did this guy do anyway? Why are we thanking him? Oh, well, here's uh, X. Thank you, X. Bye. I try not to follow a path. I try to create my own path. I've been blessed in my life, and if there's a way that I can help create a path for others to do the same, then that would be the best thing ever because I just know how much it means to get help. My name is Ryan Wilson, and my artist name is Thank You X. So I was just this kid doing art and putting it out in the streets and I never thought anything would come from it. I just wanted to do it just to do it. And I get a cold email from Snapchat one day just being like, hey, we like your art, we want to come meet you. So from there, I met the Snapchat guys and six months later they asked me to do all the art for their new offices that they're moving into. Welcome to Street Art Stories, I'm Thank You X. My artwork was in an executive's office at a major movie studio and someone went in for a meeting one day and took a picture of my piece, sent it to his friend and that friend happened to be Evan Spiegel, the CEO of Snapchat. And there was like 15 people working for them at the time. They were in a house and they were amazing people. They were doing all these amazing things. That was life changing for me because it opened so many doors. It opened the floodgates for like the tech world to be like, this is the artist that Snapchat likes. And so from there, all these other major tech companies were hitting me up. And I remember being so grateful for that moment. It's kind of like these series of things where I was just doing art, someone noticed it, and then galleries would hit me up, blogs would hit me up. So everything was very natural. Like I put it in front of people, people liked it, and then reached out to me. Everything that I started doing is just a tribute to Warhol. So Warhol specifically broke down barriers and he changed what art could be. He made a Brillo box in art piece. He made a soup can in art piece. I just came out and said thank you and then signed it with Anonymous X. And then all the different art blogs were posting it being like, thank you X puts another tribute to Warhol. And I was like, oh, okay, well I guess I'm thank you X. And then that's how everything started. My art has several layers to it. Every cube is a different story, and it might just look like a pattern, but there's a lot of hidden messages and things are flipped around, moved backwards, so it's almost like a puzzle. When a musician writes a song and you have a feeling, that's not what the singer was trying to tell you, but that's the story that you told yourself. I want it to be a story that you can see that I didn't even mean to write. Social media is the best thing to ever happen to artists because now I can reach people in Dubai and Saudi Arabia and China and Brazil. The craziest thing that's happened to me on social media was from a teacher tagging me in a photo on Instagram in North Carolina. She had set a lesson plan all based on my art for her middle school art class. And they were making this big cube mural at their school and I was blown away. So I reached out to the teacher and I was like, hey, I wanna help, like how can I be part of this? I ended up doing like 20 Skype calls with different classes all across America because one teacher found me on Instagram. And I think that's the biggest positive with social media is your reach that you have and the effect you can have on teaching kids and showing them that there's not just the traditional way of doing things. I saw a good quote that was, be who you needed when you were younger to someone else. I always think about that. And so that's kind of what my like underlying slogan would be for myself to be the person that I needed when I was younger. I think for me, it's important to like always remember where I came from and somehow always have that tie into what I'm still doing so that I'm always true to myself. I want to always have that be at the core of what I'm doing. All right, students, now here is the cube we're going to color. Now, first of all, the top part of the cube, you are not going to color. Number one, right there, do not color. The second one, you're going to pick one large symbol and then make a pattern in the background. So here we got a baseball see that and then I need a pattern behind it now you can choose some kind of line like zigzag line here uh, or you can do different kinds of lines uh, there's a variety of things you can do to make a pattern and so here is some more different kinds of lines you can use in your background 
All right, so choose wisely behind your main subject. Now your main subject or main symbol could be anything that you like, a sport or a uh, type of entertainment, video game controller, whatever. All right, now our next one, we're going to make one symbol as a pattern. Now here we have pieces of pizza. Now you're gonna do at least three across. You can do a half on each side to make it a little diverse. And then you want to draw the whatever details like um, here we have pepperoni. Show what kind of pizza it is. Just don't make it triangles because it'll look like lots of different things like ice cream cones or whatever. All right, now that I'm done drawing, I'm going to color it. Now when you color it, like especially even with the baseball, you want to color it in. Now I know baseball is white, but I'm going to add shading here, some brown and some yellow to make it look dirty because when you play baseball, baseballs get dirty. And remember, do not color the top, just the sides. So now I'm coloring in all the pizzas. I'm gonna color all the cheese first and then I'm gonna color all the pepperonis and then I'm gonna color in the crust. All right, I'm done coloring. Now, if you ever need to test the color, you can uh, test it outside the cube. Like you see on the bottom, I tested the, which pink I was gonna use. And so that is a good place to do that. Now, we're going to cut it out next week. So, but I'm just showing you what you're gonna do. So that's what it looks like. And then we're going to cut out another top to one where you have a blue piece of paper like that. So now you have a whole cube, but just to show you, that's where it's gonna go. And that's where it goes. And we glue that on and then you are done. Now they will fit together like a mural. And so you can see everyone's making their own cube. Now in this one, the tops are black, we're doing blue. And these show a lot of variety of different things, different symbols and different coloring. But here they are, what they look like when you put them together. Okay, all right guys, I hope you're gonna enjoy this. Enjoy coloring, enjoy making your pattern. And thank you, X is our artist for today. All right. Hope you guys have fun, enjoy, and hear some more examples for you to look at and learn from so that you can make a very cool mural. All right, guys, have fun.